It seems to me that as you start exploring the possibilities of text within Photoshop, that one of the first questions we should address is what is text? And of course, I don't mean what are words or what are letters, because I think we all know the answer to that, or at least we have a sense of it. But what specifically is text in the context of Photoshop? And it's actually a very important distinction. What I'm referring to specifically is the difference between vector objects and raster objects. Photoshop is used in large part to work with raster images, in other words, pixel-based images, such as photographs. Text, on the other hand, is vector, meaning that it is comprised of shapes and points, much like many of the shapes you could create in Photoshop using some of the shape tools, for example, or shapes you might create in Adobe Illustrator. Now, this might seem like a lot of semantics, but it's actually very, very important. When you're working with text that has been rasterized in Photoshop, you're at a serious disadvantage. And that's why many of the tools that allow you to work with text in Photoshop are much more powerful than you might realize. We're able to apply all sorts of effects to our text in Photoshop and still maintain the ability to resize that text and otherwise edit it. Let me show you an example of why text is so valuable in the context of Photoshop. You'll see here I have three words, book of words, but they're not all the same. They may look very similar, but there's an important difference between the word book and the word words. Words is actually a raster object. It is text that has been rasterized, which means in the context of text, it's no longer editable. And it also means that if I attempt to edit it, the quality may suffer significantly. I'll go ahead and select the words layer here, and then I'm going to choose edit followed by free transform from the menu, and then I'll hold the shift key while I drag one of the corners in order to resize this text. It's not actually text at all, but let's just assume that it was. We're resizing it, that's no problem. We could always change the font size for any other text, but here there's an important distinction. Here, we're not working with a vector object. We're not working with real text, we're working with pixels. I'll go ahead and press enter or return on the keyboard in order to apply that resize of the text. And because it's not real text, because it's really just pixels, you'll notice that the edges have gotten soft and a little bit jagged. By contrast, if I double click on the book layer and then adjust the size of the text, I'm able to maintain perfectly smooth, sharp text because it actually is a text layer. I'll position these two layers closer to each other so that you can really appreciate the difference between the two. But that's only because I'm zoomed in beyond 100% and compare that to the edge of the word words and you can see there's quite a bit of difference in terms of the crispness of that text. I'll go ahead and zoom back out to 100% and you can really get a sense of how much better the quality of the text is compared to the raster object, compared to the pixels that make up the word words. And even better, no matter what sort of adjustments I apply to the text layer here, I maintain the ability to always go back and modify that text. I can change the font, the size of the text, the special effects applied to that text. I can even warp and transform that text, and I still retain the ability to go back and change the spelling, for example, or change the word altogether. The bottom line is that even though Photoshop might be thought of as, in large part, a pixel editing tool, it does provide us with the ability to use text in very creative and powerful ways.